What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in to Honest Diecast. What's going on, people? Static Crispy in the house. What's up? Isaac in the house. Evan Salinas. What's going on, guys? Jorge Delgado. What's up? Uh, export cards. Is there going to be a live stream where we have to comment for the 2,500 giveaway? Um, yeah. Yeah. When we get to it, we'll, um, we'll come up with a video to set for that as far as inputting yourself in for the 2,500 subscriber giveaway. And, uh, just on that note real quick, guys, just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I did check uh, subscribers right before we went live and we're at 3000. So thank you so much guys. Just absolutely insane that we reached this, um, already. Um, yeah, I've only been uploading since I think June of last year. So about eight months, 3000 subscribers, man, that's insane. So thank you guys so much. Really appreciate you. That's, uh, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's just flabber. I'm flabbergasted. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the 3000 and the 2500. We'll get those giveaways going soon. I got kind of a mess near me because I have been playing with customs. Um, if everybody, anybody's interested, I am working on this. This is my Black Widow 911 GT3 RS. It's a detampoed Tanner Fox. Uh, it's got the new style 10 spokes, gonna do like a little bit of red accents. Uh, gonna hook up the headlights, the running lights, tail lights. Probably paint the cage red on the inside. Um, but I'm really excited to get that done. And then um, I have been studying really, really hard. I'm going to, probably as soon as I finish this one, I'm gonna crack another one open and we're gonna do, I'm gonna do an attempted at, uh, 991 RSR. So if you don't know the difference, the Porsche nuts will know the difference um, between regular GT3 RS and the RSR. The RSR is what Porsche factory races. So in uh, Le Mans and um, you know Nurburgring, all the endurance races, all the GT races. Um, you know that's the that's the bee's knees. That's the apex of Porsche racing cars. So I definitely want to do that. It's going to involve a lot of work. It's going to I'm going to do a new spoiler on it, do a wide body on it, um, chop the back, do a, do a massive diffuser that's going to look something kind of like the Bentley. That's what the RSR has on the back. It's got like a gigantic diffuser on the back. So it's going to be, it's going to be my first uh, heavily involved custom in a long time. So I'm looking forward to the challenge for sure. So what's everybody up to anybody finding anything uh wayne 401 what do you detail the headlights uh the lights with so paint of my choice and i'll either use toothpicks or i will use wooden skewers that's usually what i use um or else i will use i'll use dental picks um or um clay molding it's the same thing as a dental pick so that's what I use, just something with a very, very fine tip, and then you need a little bit of a steady hand, so. Uh, David Shook, the Flying Lizard 996 just came up for sale. Sweet. Uh, Clone Republic. Hey, Honest, how are you? I'm good, buddy. How are you? Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Raul Garcia, if I send you some cars, can you customize them? Yeah, I could probably do that for you. Um, just if you want, email me and send me, uh, like a game plan of what you got cooked up and we'll go from there. Uh, Fia Vang uses an X-Acto knife. Yeah, you can use an X-Acto knife too. You know, obviously the razor blade has a very, very thin, very, very thin tip. So that would be good to use as well. Uh, Skyline Stew, hi, uh, hey Derek, any hunting videos being uploaded? Um, I just uploaded one last night, so maybe check that out. We were lucky and found uh, one Super, the MK's Galaxy. Uh, lots of fresh DKs. 
Um, and yeah, some drama. <laughs> some off-camera drama. Um, Sean Swetsky, show a custom car you've completed. Okay, um, I can show you a bunch. Um, so this one I made for my good friend Mustang Hunter. I still got to send it to him. So this is the RTR Mustang with the Power Trip Buick Regal wheels. It's lowered, got tampos, interiors down as well. This one is a work in progress. This is a 930 RWB that I spectra flamed and painted. I, all I did was throw a base and wheels on for now. Um, it is going to get different wheels. So there's that. Um, this is a D-Tampo GT3 RS that I'm working on. This is not done. I just started this last night. Bear with me, folks. Um. <laughs> This is a root beer gasser that I did. Got the body bars, engine detail. That one, and then probably the most intricate one that I've done. Let me fish it out of here real quick. Let me straighten that guy up. This is the most intricate one I did, and I did this one last year. This is a wide body Huracan Super Trofeo twin turbo. So that one came out really nice. I was kind of trying to model it after my CSR2, which I used to play. I don't play it anymore. Um, but I was trying to model it after that and then do a little, a little something extra to it. Um, I got a lot more in there, so hopefully you enjoy them. Uh, Let's see. Export cars. Holy cow, that hurt kind of like sick. Thanks, man. A lot of work. That was a lot of work. That was like two that was like two uh that was like two weeks worth of work right there, man. I think it was insane. Uh Sean Swetsky, thank you, buddy. He says loves love the Lambo. Yeah, I'd like to do another one. Um, honestly. I've been trying to think of the perfect car to do it with, but I really, really want to try a um Lamborghini Ascenza SCV twelve. I really want to try to make one. Um Sounds like my favorite Lambo on the planet. I love that car. Uh, Dexter, <laughs> Dexter Finley, he says, Derek, the RSRs are great and all, but how about that 944 Turbo? <laughs> now I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, man, I've been wanting to do a 944 as well. And if you guys don't get the gist of it, uh, Dexter Finley actually owns, he owns an ultra low mileage um, 944 Turbo Red. It's beautiful. It's got like 13,000 miles on it or something. It's just insane. Um, but yeah, I was actually thinking about cooking one up for you. I just gotta, just gotta think about it. <laughs> think about what to do to it to make it special and stand out. Uh, Wayne 401, how did you make the wide body? Definitely looks killer. Um, my toolbox is a little bit out of my reach, but I use, um, I use this stuff. It's a two part putty. Um, you can get it at Hobby Lobby. It's called uh, Milliput. Um, you just mix it, up, mix it up 50 50. It's like a really thick, um, it's like a really thick putty, and then um, cut some strips of like some aluminum uh, can, um, and line your fenders with that, however far out you want to go, and just mold it, let it cure, and then um, and then uh, sand it, shape it. Uh, Forgive me if I butcher the name. John Svila says, hello from Seattle. What's up, buddy? That's my old stomping grounds. I'm a Washingtonian. Uh, Datsun Man Diecast in the house. Mark, also Washingtonian. He says, I own 42 944s. <laughs> uh, I, I think he needs some more. Um, export cars. Uh, I'm not sure if I got your email or not. I'm not the best at checking email. I usually check it a couple of times a week, so just bear with me. <clears throat> uh, Wayne 401, you're very welcome. Um, <clears throat> Wayne 401, if you want some video tutorial about it, I mean, I'll do it eventually, but it's going to take some time. But if you want to go out there like now and, uh, see how it's done, definitely check out, um, Jakarta Diecast Project. He's 
probably he probably does the best customs on the face of the planet and he does it a lot watch some of his older ones uh toy guys did you find the million grit <laughs> the million grit sandpaper <laughs> i haven't had a chance to go out and look i'm planning on hopefully doing that tomorrow and at least at least getting some 3000 so we can you know i really want to try it on this so that's what that's the hold up for this and the um the spectra flame paint video um so just bear with me i want to <clears throat> I definitely really want to try to run some 3,000 over it, and if I can find that 5 and 10, I'll do that too, just to see. You know, might as well. Uh, Eric 2K, Era and Company. What's up, fellow Washingtonians? What's up, buddy? Uh, Michaela, I don't know if it's races or racks but I'm, assu I'm assuming it's races um is there any cars you're still looking for there's so many cars i'm still looking for <laughs> um yeah i'm looking i mean just off the top of my head that i can think of i'm looking for i'm looking for a couple more of these this is the uh, euro style 993 gt2 rs i'd bought this one on macari but the card was trashed so i took it out so i'm just i got it off to the side right now i'll probably use it for you know, like a wheel swap in detail or something. Um, I am looking for more GT3 RS Zamax from, I believe, 2018. I think that's when, I think that's when that Zamax came out. Um, yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot. I'm looking for some money so I can get my one of my Grails. One of my Grails is a 993 GT2, um, the Gulf, the RLC one. That's one of my. That's one of my grails as well as uh, the Yellow Boulevard, the, the first edition Boulevard. Uh, Shredding44, did you find any Super Treasure Hunt RX-7 since that video was made? Uh, if you're talking about the one that I just uploaded last night, no. No, I did not. Um, yeah, if, for those of you that'll watch the video, I guess, you know, some of you might be asking about, you know, the subtitles and stuff. A pretty crappy situation went down. I'm not really going to get into it. Um, but, uh, yeah, I could have had the potential to find at least one or a couple of uh, DK's RX-7 Supers um, within the past day or so. And, yeah, it just it didn't happen. And I know why. <laughs> that's a man diecast for supporting Derek your check is in the mail I pay people to subscribe <laughs> thanks man uh, M Sergeant Hydro hit the mother load of E case no treasure hunt or sue but a crap ton of Zamax sweet that's the next wave coming in that's the next wave man I'm so friggin excited I'm so excited for E case I want um, I want that GT 40 mark 4 so bad god Hot Wheels nailed nailed that casting i don't care what anybody says they nailed it uh if you don't know what i'm talking about it's the red gt40 that's coming up um it's not a regular gt40 it's the mark four uh it's for <clears throat> excuse me first edition of that cast fantastic and then of course a crack of getting that k and corvette super yellow prelude the gasser yeah that's fabulous case coming guys Uh, Christopher Schill, what's up, buddy? Saying hi to everybody from across the pond. Sweet, thanks for tuning in, but it's probably really, really early over there, or really late. Uh, Sam Fisher just said that he picked up that GT uh, that GT40 Mark IV. Sweet man, congratulations. We were just talking about that. Uh, Joe Dillon, anyone else seem like C case was short lived? Yes, it was a very quick wave that went through targets, at least here in Arizona. And then it was just gone, and targets are dead right now. They are, there's nothing going on right now. Uh, Sunnyboy48, how much money have you invested in your Hot Wheels? I'm not sure. Uh, well, blow me down. I'm still hoarding the 2020 Mustang. Can't wait for the gold super, yeah. Yeah, the GT500 is a fabulous casting, man. I can't wait to crack one open and do a custom on it. Uh, 
Uh, Fia Vang said he's about to trade for the GT40. Super sweet, man. Yeah, get your hands on them while you can. I mean, they're becoming hard to find because um, a lot of people uh, who are more interested in the investment side of things, uh, a lot of people picked up a bunch of those things and they're getting really hard to find. They're sitting on them and the value is just skyrocketing on those things. So, and rightfully so, rightfully so. It's an absolutely gorgeous super. Mattel definitely nailed that. Uh, Shredding 44, that would be correct. <laughs> I, won't, I, won't, I won't reply. <laughs> uh, David Shook, Major Ed is doing a 917 opening in, with an opening engine compartment. Sweet. Can't wait to see that. Uh, Will Frederick Diecast, what's up, buddy? He said, what's up, Derek? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Takumi Miami, did you get the Super Treasure Hunt set from RLC? I did not, unfortunately. I'm very heartbroken about it. I really wanted uh, to get that this year, but it just it didn't pan out. So, uh, Ewok, what's your favorite Super Treasure Hunt or Treasure Hunt? Um, of all time, it is going to be this guy, and I caught it. Yes. This is the 2019 QK's Porsche 911 GT3 RS, and it is my favorite of all time because that is my real life dream car. I absolutely love that car. Uh, Scott Tro, good evening from Louisiana. What's up, bud? Down in the bayou. Born on the bayou. Oh God. <laughs> Mark's throwing out uh, old Greg memes already. We'll see if Jay Skipper logs on so you guys can go back and forth. <laughs> uh, Static Crispy, yeah, E-Case, he really wants that yellow prelude, yeah, freaking sweet. Uh, Tad Krieger, everything, in, um, everything is dead in Northwest Washington, yeah, that's what Mark said. Mark said he found some stuff and he's uploading an episode soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, said he found some decent finds, but he went down to Oregon. So we'll see. Uh, Ewok, do you like the new team transports? Yes, absolutely. I mean, two fabulous mixes coming up. I can't wait. Uh, but I can wait because I got a couple that I got to get caught up on so I can become current because I'm trying to get, I'm trying to collect every single team transport. <laughs> uh, Austin Schultz, that purple Porsche was the first super treasure hunt I ever found in a shipper at Dollar General. Nice, man. Congratulations. Yeah, uh, I got really, really lucky. I saw that. I saw the leak of that and I was like, man. I have got to find that Porsche and then, you know, that was back in 2019 and man, I hunted hard with nothing and then I ended up finding three of them. So I was really thankful for that. Jay Skipper, sweet. What's up, buddy? He said, found the twin mill ID. Lucky dog. Can't find that. Can't find the Roger Dogger Super. Okay. So that's a man die cast and Jay Skipper. You guys go ahead with the uh, old Greg, uh, the old Greg quotes. <laughs> Uh, well, blow me down. The treasure hunt set makes no sense, too. Who is paying 800 bucks when you can buy the full 500 set for 900 Yeah. I mean, well, that's the way the second-hand market works, my friend. <laughs> you know? They bought, that they bought that super set for 250 bucks, and they're trying to charge 800 bucks for you guys, man. So just remember that. Fortunately, there was only like 1,000 or 1,500 that were released this year. I can't remember which one, but... Yeah, people will sit on those things and they will pick them up quick so they can try to make some money off of them. They don't give a, they don't give a damn about what's in that box. They give a damn about the money. That's it. I just wanted that set for the cars, man. Uh, Jay Skipper, yeah, almost a unicorn case, man. Yeah, that would have been sweet. I love unicorns, man. <laughs> I love unicorns. Uh, Patrick Carson, good luck. He says, heading out to hunt right now. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> JR, what's up, buddy? Uh, Toy God, hey, Mark, Toy Gods is getting in on the act. <laughs> Toy Gods is getting in on the act, on the uh, gold Greg action. <laughs> Do you love me? Make a quick assessment. <laughs> oh, you guys cracked me up. I love you guys, man. And again, um, speaking of love, man, thank you guys so much. Just want to say thank you, thank you. Um, you know, like I said, I checked... 
I just checked subscribers right before heading on, and man, we hit a thousand, man. I, I, I love you guys. And you know what? All you guys, I got a thumbs down on this live stream. Thank you for that, too, because all you do is motivate me. Thank you so much. Uh, but everybody that's here to support, show love, chat, all that stuff, man, thank you so much. I love you guys. You guys are driving me strong and hard, man. I love it. Um, thank you. Thank you so much. And I want to give a quick shout out. Um, Dexter, hopefully this is okay. Um, but Dexter and a, a few of my mods on uh, the Facebook group, they did a really kind gesture for me. Um, they pulled together some money um, for me uh, to get the Tarmac Works. I don't know if this is a good thing. Um, but they pulled together some money to get the Tarmac Works membership car for me. Um, it's the it's the Pagani Sonda. It's flat black. It's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to get it and show you guys. Um, but yeah, this could be really, really scary. Um, I've got one Tarmac Works car. That was from David at Twice Diecast. Thank you again, David. It's the Civic Type R, the FD2. Fabulous casting. Um, yeah, this might start something very, very bad. <laughs> uh, Turbo Tyler 405. Hey man, just starting to get into collecting. Just found my first super treasure hunt. Or found my first treasure hunt two days ago. Any tips on finding supers? Um, you know, I, I, that's one of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, what time should I go to the store and stuff? But um, really, it just depends on your local store. You just got to learn. You got to learn the shipping schedule. Um, just look for tendencies, you know, look for what days they're they're stocking. You know, I, I used to keep a log of all the stores locally. And I would try to piece together. Um, I would try to piece together like uh, what am I trying to say here? piece together a pattern, try to piece together a pattern on what days they were stuck and what time I saw the stuff, um, and just go from there. Um, but yeah, diecast chaser nails it down. Beat the scalpers, <laughs> beat the first one there, man. Beat the first one there. Cause you know what, when it comes down to it, man, there are very, very few people like us, like most of you guys on here, um, who genuinely just want to collect the cars. We, we genuinely want to collect the cars. Um, there's a lot of people that you got to beat um, because either they just want that, they want those supers for a quick buck, um, they want to hoard them all for trade bait. Um, you know, I don't really like that either. You know, I'd, to be honest with you, somebody asked me that a long time ago on one of the live chats and they were like, how do you feel about people going to stores and picking up stuff for trade bait? And at the time I was like, eh, you know, whatever. Um, but the more I think about it, the more I don't like it either because, you know, you're taking another casting out of some guy's hands who, you know, some collector's hands who has been looking for that car. Um, so I would advise against it. You know, I mean, try not to do that, you know, guys. I mean, you know, we can't have a perfect world and stuff. We can't have people that aren't just about all making money on this, on this stuff. And, you know, we can't have that, you know, we can, we can, you know, we can try to lower that and eliminate that as much as we can out of the hobby. Um, and we're doing it sl slowly by, the, you know, slowly but surely this community that we're that we're establishing together. Um, you know, people making groups, people making channels, um, you know, spreading love, you know, just all that stuff. You know, it's it's slowly but surely happening. We are weeding. We are slowly but surely weeding out this this scalper and money mentality out of this hobby. Um, you know, but it's not, everybody knows it's not going to go completely away, but you know, we're doing the best we can. And I think that, I think we're heading on the right track for this, uh, for this hobby and this community. So I saw a Mustang Hunter check in. I went to my Walmart and ran into five collectors, ended up taking, talking for like 20 minutes. Sweet, man. Uh, Mustang Hunter. I personally don't like it. I feel guilty of taking three of anything. Yeah. Um, I will not take, I will not take duplicates of stuff unless there's stuff left over. That's just me. I if for stuff that I really really like, so okay, obviously Porsche, you know Koenigsegg, Yeskos, Gassers, Datsuns, JDM, stuff like that. I usually try to collect five for my collection. I keep, throw them in there, keep them carded. Um, but I will never clear out a store of five. If there's five on the pegs, I'm not taking all five. I'll probably take two and leave three. So that's what I prefer to do. 
but yeah, that's the mentality. Just like Mustang Hunter said, you know, um, you know, the mentality is just, you know, try to leave some for others. This hobby would be so much more enjoyable. Uh, Tin Lizard, there was one Roger Dodger without a doubt variant. Other than that, the pegs are totally stuffed. No more room for new cars. Yeah. Yeah, I was lucky. I was lucky. I got, um, you know, I didn't find any supers, but if you guys watched the last episode, I did find, I think I'm up to six variations on that Roger Dodger, so we're almost there. I'm really, I'm really excited about that. I got to double check and see which sayings I still need because I don't remember. Uh, Danny's diecast in the house. What's up, Danny? Uh, R26 Roman, that's a good, uh, that's definitely good. He says, I usually take three, one for trade, one for customizing, one for racing with my boy. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I'm assuming it's Doug Merrick in the GS Silent. Sorry if I'm butchering your name, Doug. Uh, he says, great videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, but I appreciate you. Mustang Hunter said, I helped one of them today find the new Ford GT40. He said he missed out. So found it, he was stoked. Are you talking about the white one? Are you talking about the white one in C and D case? Or are you talking about the Mark IV, or the red one? Oof. Man, I can't wait for that. Uh, well, blow me down. I take them all enough to go around. Well, I don't agree with that, so. JNM Reviews, what are the six variations? Sorry, just got on. Uh, I'm talking about the six variations of the Roger Dodger 8-Ball. Um, I already put them away, so I can't read them off. Yeah, I already put them away in my collection, so um, I probably shouldn't have done that. I probably should have waited until I figured out the other ones that I needed. Uh, Sean Cummings, why live stream? Why not? Again, guys, it's funny, all these, uh, the more subs you get, the more trolls you get. <laughs> uh, M Sergeant Hydro, where are all the premiums? Super, uh, super dry out here, yeah. Yeah, I haven't really seen, I haven't seen any new, uh, new premiums, I haven't seen any fast wagons, I haven't seen, um, it's very little. I keep seeing Power Trip and, you know, all the old stuff, but, uh, JR, the new, Corvette C8R is my favorite car right now. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that in E-Case too, man. That car is sick. Love it. Uh, JNM Reviews. Uh, you don't have to show me just some examples so I can look out for them. So I think it, it all goes back to... Um, Darn it, I wish I didn't put them away. Uh, there's one that says, like, reply hazy, try again later. Um, you guys help me out. <laughs> I'm having a brain fart right now. Um, Outlook not so good is another one. Um, yeah, God, I can't remember. I'm fuzzy right now, man. I need to drink some more coffee. Don Thompson, I love it. He said, let's weed out the employees that hold the shippers for, for or cases for a buddy. Passes me off, I or piss it, pisses me off. Um, I take pride in my hunting to beat, to be beat out by the workers. Yeah, yeah that's a big problem. Um, that's a big problem, but, you know. Um... God, I ran into that this past week, and I was really thinking about calling corporate or something, but, you know, I just, it's not even worth my time, my frustration, I know, and sometimes it's just something that you can't help, but, um, but yeah, that's, that's crappy, it's really crappy. Uh, 55 Gasser, what's up, buddy? He said, have you found anything good lately? Um, I found... Last episode, found the M Case Galaxy Super um, out of 2,000 cars, and yeah, 
other than that, just some little things here and there. Nothing, a uh, bunch of Roger Dodger eight ball variants. That's about it. Um, okay, here's here you go. I knew I knew I could count on Mustang Hunter for this. He says, um, as I see it, yes. So these are the eight ball Roger Dodger variations. As I see it, yes. Ask again later. Concentrate and ask again. Don't count on it. Outlook not so good. Reply hazy. Try again. Without a doubt, signs point to yes, most likely. And then this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but the super is a different one, right? Or is it is is it part of the eight, or is it eight plus the super? I don't remember. Uh, Spartan ninety nine forty nine. Hi, what's up, buddy? Monster Jam Zachary Allen in the house. What's up? Uh, Fifty five gasser. Thank you, bud. Looks like somebody has the factory five hundred set for trade. I'm. Probably just gonna hold out and just wait and try to find it, bud. Uh, Isaac Matoro, what kind of music do you like? I like that question. Um, I like different. I like lots of different kinds of music, man. I listen to everything from um, from you know old '80s rock to you know '80s synth wave, which if you guys don't know is like the electronic synth wave. I like new age synth wave. I like I like trap. Um, I like some rap. I don't like a lot of rap. I prefer. To listen to just trap, you know, instrumental trap beats because I like the beats. Um, I like dubstep, house, um, anything with a really good beat. <laughs> lots of lots of stuff. But the music that I put on my channel um, is typically exclusively from VIPN. Um, he's a great artist I've listened to for many years, um, and I always told myself if I started a channel, I definitely want to showcase his music because he makes some fabulous music. Um, so definitely check out his channel if you guys get a chance, and if that music interest you. Uh, M. Sergeant Hydra, that's a good question. Who has a real magic eight ball? <laughs> yeah, Mustang Hunter. So yeah, the super is super treasure hunt. You got it. So that's the super. So that leads me to believe there's eight variations and then the super. You got it. Say what? Diecast dude. Walgreens has all real riders on sale for a buck nineteen. Holy cow! Yeah, they're trying to clear out. They're trying to make. That's a good sign, guys. They're trying to make room for the new stuff. They got some new stuff they want to put out. Uh, Turbo Tyler four hundred five. Any Beastie Boy fans out there? I love Beastie Boys, man. Love Beastie Boys. Uh, David Shook, what is your forearm tattoo now that I now that we see it? A lot on hands-free <laughs> yeah so try to spin around but this this doesn't mean Detroit this is my my initial this is my wife's initial and this uh, this infinity represents our daughter or in, infinitely connected through our daughter so that's what that means and she has a matching tattoo as well same place Uh, no commentary. That's a good question. Um, wondering if there have ever been police vehicle super treasure hunts. I wonder. I'm trying to think. I don't think. I don't think so. I could be wrong. It could. It could. There could be some that are past my window. Maybe somebody can answer that. But I don't think so. I don't remember ever seeing one. Um, that's a really really good question. Oh, Richard Reeder. Okay, he says uh, he says he believes there are nine there are nine mainline variations of the Roger Dodger eight ball and four four different super ones. Jeez, man, that's insane. Pulling one super is hard enough. Pulling four is just man, that's insane. Yeah, diecast dude. <laughs> Picked up 15 real riders for a buck 19. That is insane. That's a come up. Hopefully you got some good ones. Uh, Jonathan Garcia, hello, what's up? Andre Cruz says fire truck number four. Not sure. Not sure about that one. 55 Gasser likes some old school rock. Um, he likes Metallica, uh, Megadeth, Iron Maiden. 
Ozzy Osbourne and of course Beastie Boys. Yep, excellent taste in music. Uh, Mustang Hunter diecast 2010 Camaro Supercharger Hunt. Was that a police? That was a police one, right? Uh, Lee Stoneman, what's up, buddy? Checking in from across the pond. He says, hey, Derek, sent you an email. Roger Dodger super message. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, sorry, bud. I don't check my email that often, so I only check it once, maybe twice a week, so just bear with me. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll hop on and check it, man. Thank you. Yeah, toy guys and that cast dude. That's a lot of a lot of wheels for swaps. Yeah, that reminds me of the when the uh, Kroger gets their shippers and all the real riders are two bucks and fifty cents. Man, talk about a heyday. Um, you know, I don't like to clear them out, but it's definitely a good good time to pick up. You know, five or ten different ones and you know get your get your fix for your wheel swaps. Uh, man, guys, I'm so excited for this here. Just in case you guys need a comparison. So that's the Tanner Fox in the package, and then that's used to be a Tanner Fox one that's detampoed. Man, it looks great. That flat black. It's gonna be a black widow. I'm gonna call it a black widow. It's gonna have little tiny, just itty bitty red uh red highlights in it. I'll probably do I'll probably do these side fins in red. And then I might do I might do red housing in the headlights, maybe. I'm really looking forward to getting this one done and then getting started on that RSR project, man. Oof, it's gonna be it's gonna be nasty. I like it. Uh, Ewok, how long is the live stream? We usually go as long as we can, um, as long as people are talking and stuff. Um, you know, as long as it to totally doesn't die out, which hasn't really happened yet, which is really cool. Thanks, guys. Um, or until my live stream gets cut, <laughs> which I have no idea why it does that, but usually it'll cut out at about an hour and a half, uh, anywhere between an hour and a half, two hours, and then uh, we cut it from there. So you'll know when the audio gets behind, that's when my live stream is cut out. And that's when we say goodbye. Uh, it's uh, Graham, red hourglass headlights, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna try to fill, um, cause here's, here's the Porsche. I did, if you guys can't tell, I filled underneath, not the top, but underneath with the chrome to make them look more real. So I'm gonna try to do that with this one. I'm gonna try to do red. I'm gonna try to fill the underside with red and see how it looks. Hopefully it comes out good. Super excited. Uh, Cryptic, I'm excited for the new Nissan GTR Diorama set. Me too, buddy. Me too, you ain't never lied. Uh, Christopher Schill, what's up, buddy? He says, loving the black GT3 custom. I'm working on a few Porsche customs. Sweet. Yeah, it's my fave. Yeah, Porsches and Gassers are probably my two faves. I like doing Lambos, too. Um, but, yeah, those are probably, like, my three favorite to do. I love, I just love doing them. I can't, I can't get enough. Uh, 55 Gasser, hey Derek, tomorrow I will get the Mazda RX, RX-7. Wonder if the color's similar to the R32 Skyline in 2020. Um, no. No. Um, the 2020 A-Case R32 is, is more like a straight gray. Um, if you can see it, this kind of has like a bluish gray hue to it definitely different it's definitely different but no doubt in my mind you're gonna enjoy it this thing is absolutely beautiful man absolutely beautiful congratulations on getting that uh fia vang heading out have a good night buddy thanks for tuning in appreciate you uh ambot ice what's good what's up buddy uh wayne 401 yeah he's <laughs> He said, I'm going to Walgreens tomorrow. I definitely need some wheels to swap. Yeah. Yeah, take advantage. And the more, you know, if you guys go and clear out those cars that are on sale, you know, the sooner they're going to get, um, they're going to get some new stuff in. Because they always do this. They always do this. When they put stuff on sale for ultra cheap like that, they're trying to clear out all their old stock so they can get some new stuff in. Huh? 
Hi. Hi. Would you like to say hi? Yeah, hi. Okay, hi. Hi. We're still working on her collection update, guys. It's coming, I swear. Hi. You need to stop being so busy. And maybe get your homework done so we can knock that out, because people want to see it. Hi. Um, I, somebody said something about RLC car. I was really hoping to get my E46 M3 RLC car today, man. I was, oh, I'm so excited for that. Uh, looks like GOGT got his today from a trade. Sweet. Uh, Fia Vang, oh, before I go, what emblem does the RX-7 ha have? Yeah, I know that there's, there's variations. Um... This one has the, hmm, kind of hard to see. I know there's one that just has like a circle inside of a circle, and then there's the actual Mazda logo one. Um, I never bothered to take a look at it because it doesn't really matter to me. But yeah, this one looks like it's the circle in circle. doesn't look like it's the true... It doesn't look like, to me, it doesn't look like it's the true Mazda logo. I, hopefully you guys can see it. Hopefully the glare isn't too bad. But you guys can tell me. But to me, to me, that looks like the circle in the circle. So. Uh, Jay Mao, yes, there are a lot of inside jobs, unfortunately. Uh, Monster Jam, Zachary Allen, how long have you been collecting Hot Wheels? Three years, buddy. Uh, ben Slater checking in. What's up? How you doing, Ben? Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Ewok, where did you get the Hot Wheels stand? Um, I, it was empty at a, at a Fry's, I believe. I just asked if I could have it, and they said yes. And I also have a mini dump from Target down here. Uh, same thing. I think I got really, really lucky with that because they really don't like to give those up. Uh, M. Newman Photography, that's the old Mazda logo. Okay. Sweet. Thanks for putting me on to that. All right, Fia. Have a good one, bud. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you around. Yeah, Fia Vang said it looks like the circle. Yeah, the old Mazda logo circle, whatever it is. I don't know which one's more rare or whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. A super is a super. <laughs> So if there are variations on a super, it doesn't really matter as long as I get the super. That's all I care about. Uh, Big A's in the house. What's up, buddy? What's up, Adrian? Uh, Hewitt's Hot Wheels also in the house. Sorry if I missed you, bud. Um, you found some great cars the other day, so congratulations, man. That Lancia Delta Integrale. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was one of my most uh, sought-after cars when I saw that C-Case was coming out. I was really excited for that car. Just such a great history and heritage on hill climb and um and rally racing that car is fantastic uh tan hang any luck on 53rd anniversary set uh yeah i found that quite a while ago um i was getting to the shippers as they were hitting safeways here locally so um i got my five uh, not all, not all out of the same shipper, but I got five '62 Chevys, um, a couple of the '56 Fords, and a couple of the Chevelles. Um, I wasn't interested in the um, in the Cadillac Fleetwood or the Twin Mill, um, but that's all I'm seeing in the stores right now. It's just <laughs> I'm seeing everything but the '62 Chevy. So, uh, David Shook, black recolor of the Lancia looks good. I haven't seen that leak. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see that. I'm actually, I'm going to do a Lancia Delta Integrale uh, custom, so I can't wait to do that. Uh, well, Fredo Pina Jr. went to my local Dollar Tree and they had 25th anniversary cars in stock. And then I found the Chase car. Was it a good find? Yes, uh, 25th anniversary. What do you mean by 25th anniversary? Do you mean 50th anniversary? Or 51st or 52nd or 50? Well, there's no chase in 53rd, so. Uh, Tan Hang, yeah, yeah. People are hogging that 62. Uh, Kevin Kennedy still says none, uh, still none where I'm at. 
Uh, Jason Brown, I, I begin to ask that question a lot. What do I do for a living? Um, I'm a YouTube creator. <laughs> uh, for a career question, inquire next week. <laughs> Uh, car guy, can you do a tutorial on how to make a custom exhaust pipe for a 164? Yes, I would love to. Um, I do need to try to find, and I believe Hobby Lobby has one. I'm going to go look. But this is the size tubing I would use. I don't remember the size of the tubing, but I need to check. And this is actual tubing, it's not rod. Um, I need to go to Hobby Lobby and see if I can find a bender to actually bend this. Which one's that one? I don't know what size tubing this is. Can I see? Yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> Toy Goss, he's a YouTube influencer. <laughs> uh, Monster Jam Zachary Allen, how's the weather where you live? Um, it was really cold here. Um, it actually snowed here, um, not last week, but the week before last, and I got it on film. Um, but um, it it's become a lot more like it should be, which is low to mid 70s right now. Very nice weather. Uh, ben Slater, Walmart sucks here in Clemson. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. a lot of people are, the rush hasn't hit you yet. So I'm telling you guys, check those stores, keep, you know, check back. Uh, D case, D case is coming your way and some people are reporting E case with Zamax. So uh, Lena, that Sesto Elemento Super is that rare. Sorry, you were having such a hard time finding it. Yeah, a lot of people found it. It's not rare, but it's just... I cracked so many J cases, got so many fresh shippers, and I never found it. I found a ton. I found I found Bone Shaker IDs for for days, but I cannot find the Sesto. But, yeah, this... That little booger right there, man. Just did not want me to find it. Kind of like that, that damn BK Corvette. <laughs> can't stand that thing and uh yeah so yeah um gave the the bk corvette super away that i had um that went to the 2000 subscriber or no that went to the 1000 uh subscriber redo and then the one that mustang hunter gave me so thank you again mustang hunter i appreciate you so there's still a gap in the wall. As you guys can see, there's still a gap on the wall for C case. I still haven't found the Roger Dodger. Uh, Mustang Hunter diecast and don't hunt with friends. <laughs> well, hunting with real friends is okay, but yeah. Uh, Brandon, Brandon Gold, uh, Goldsboro. Hey, I'm new to Hot Wheels. So what's your, uh, tips for collecting if you have any? Um, it's a good, great question, buddy. Uh, my first recommendation would be to collect things that you like. Don't, don't get caught up in the hype castings because, um, there's no need to, <laughs> you know, collect what you like. If you like muscle cars, collect muscle cars. Um, you know, if there's a couple of imports or European here and there that you like, you know, definitely pick those up. You know, nobody's not telling you that you can't pick those up. Um, but definitely collect what you like. Don't worry about the hype. A lot of people think that I'm a hype caster, but I like so many different cars. It's it's just ridiculous. I like everything from gassers, um, gassers to Porsche, was, which is my top favorite is Porsche. Um, JDM. I love all JDM cars. Um, so I kind of have a bad because I, I like them all. So... <laughs> But collect what you like. Um, but definitely before you start collecting, um, uh, yeah, Lena says set a budget. That's a great that's a great recommendation as well. Um, figure out how you're going to store them. Definitely, um, are you going to put them in totes? Or are you going to you going to hang them? Um, keep them keep them in stands, displays. You know, build a display, build a stand. You know, just figure that out. Um, storage is very very important. So. Ask me how I know. <laughs> I got so much stuff just sitting here that I got to put away, but I need, you know, I need more storage. I need more storage for it. So um, that'd be that'd be the two I would definitely recommend first is figure out what you want to collect and then uh, figure out your storage as well. Yeah, Monster Jam Zachary Allen says it's cold as cold as heck in Missouri. Yeah, <laughs> not envious whatsoever. Yeah, I, I'm a 
native Washingtonian, born and raised, and I, I don't miss the rain. I don't miss the cold at all. So, uh, Roberto F Felix says, I only collect real cars, not those rainbow cars. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm not a big fantasy or unlicensed collector. I mean, if you consider... If you consider Roger Dodgers and Bone Shakers, um, I don't know. For some reason, I really like the fast bed hauler too. That's you know that's unlicensed. Um, you know, I like those castings, but I really don't collect much fantasy. I don't definitely don't collect any fantasy, like straight up fantasy on them. Not into it at all. There's only one fantasy I like though. Which one is that? Donut Drifter. Donut Drifter. Huh. Oh. Um. Old Man Diecast finally found the Roger Dodger Super yesterday. Sweet, man. Congratulations. I'm still on the hunt for that thing, man. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lena says, because of pandemic, I started collecting Mini GT instead. No access to mainlines. Yeah, a lot of people are shut down. Yeah, I would love to collect Mini GT. Um, I have a really bad feeling I'm going to get this Tarmac Works bug, which I've always been interested in, but just never started collecting and... Yeah, it's going to bring forth a whole new addiction. That's that's scary. <laughs> that's, that's scary. Excuse me. Uh, wow, 69 Stingray says it's negative 40 Celsius in Canada right now. Jeez, not Fahrenheit, Celsius. That is cold. <laughs> David Shook. Zoom in, super treasure hunt needs to happen. God, no, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Clash of Dragons, I found my first super a while back, which was the Sesto. It was late at night, 8 and 9, 9 o'clock. Surprised I found it during that time of the day, or night rather. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I found I found supers late at night and not at Walmart either. Um, yeah, it's just the luck. I mean, you know, there very well could be a chance where nobody's hit that store all day and it's just sitting there. Uh PC Drock, hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, Porsche Tarmacs are, or Tarmac Porsches are so good. Yes, they are. There are so many I want. Uh, the top one on my list is the Pink Pig. The Pink Pig, the 911 GT3 RS. The night, the uh, what is it? Um, is it what is it? Nine 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 three. I think they make a nine nine three Pink Pig. That one's cool. I don't really want that one as bad as I want. I want the RSR Pink Pig, man. God. That's like one of my favorite cars on the planet. Uh, Kevin Kennedy, Ice Storm in Kentucky. Yikes, man. Yeah, I can't wait until March. I can't wait until... Can't wait until spring. Cannot wait. And summer. A lot of people think I'm crazy. It gets... It can get 120s here, and I love it. You know, I, just, I would take that any day of the week over cold. Any day. Uh, Brandon Gold, uh, Goldsboro, uh, awesome, thank you. Yeah, I found my first treasure in a family dollar, so now i got to find more. I really want to collect Supers because of the paint and tires. I'm a sucker for real-looking cars. Yeah, I feel you, buddy. Um, you know, another idea, you know, you can always get into customs as well. Um, I, I try to... I try to I want to, you know, everybody who collects supers, you know, knows the passion and the time involved and just the effort that it takes. Um, it's sheer effort. It's, it's sheer friggin' effort to find these little things. Um, I would never encourage anybody to just say, okay, I want to collect supers and that's it. Because it's, you're going to get burned out. You're going to, you're going to get these dead times where you just, you can't time stuff right. Um, you know, you can't time stuff right. You keep missing it, you know, competing with other collectors that are pulling them. You know, never try to focus on supers. Like, the only time that I focus on supers is when I'm caught up on everything and everything, you know, like like it's been the past month, month and a half. You know, just, I have everything. I have, I have every main line that I want. I have every premium that I want. So then I can really focus on supers. And even then, even at this time, I still get my frustration just like on this last video. Um, you know, where I can't hit the drop right or, you know, other things off of camera happen and that prevents me from getting a super, you know, I wouldn't focus on supers. It's just, it's going to burn you out and you're going to get tired of it. And, you know, that's how I, that's part of the reason why I almost quit collecting some, so many times. 
uh, was I was focusing on supers and I would get burnt out. I'd get frustrated because I couldn't find any. So um, anyways, that's my two cents if you're just thinking about focusing on collecting supers. I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, Graham says, hell no, 120 is hellish. <laughs> I'm cool with it. It's dry heat, bro. It's dry heat. <laughs> Um, Sammy Sanchez got his RLC M3 in the mail in, in a trade today. Okay, sweet. Yeah, nice, man. I was hoping mine would come in the mail today, but it didn't. So maybe on Saturday's live stream. God, I can't wait to, can't wait to get it. I want another one. I want to, I want to get another one so I can open it. Uh, old man diecast. I edited the whole, the whole video, uploaded it and everything completely forgot to add music. Duh. <laughs> it happens, man. Uh, David Shook, is your Lexus a V8? Yes, I own two Lexuses, and they're both V8. The LS430 is a 4.3 liter V8, and the ISF is a 5 liter V8. Hey. Uh, Monster Jam Zachary Allen found the Ford Galaxy Super at a, at a Dollar General. Sweet, man. Congratulations. Uh, Takis, yes. I agree with you. <laughs> I'd rather have heat than cold. It's been sub-zero in Missouri these past few nights, and I hate it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's just it's cold, man. It's freaking freezing. Yeah, you can escape the heat. You can't escape the cold. If you're cold and you you know you got to crank the heater, and yeah, it just takes forever to warm up, and you're just freezing cold, and yeah, just I don't like it. Uh, Big A's found the CK's treasure hunt today. The uh, the Dodge van. Sweet man, congratulations! Yeah, it's a great, it's a great treasure hunt. I really like it. Uh, Fifty-five gasser. Yep, <clears throat> he said the same thing happened to me when I started collecting. You get frustrated when you can't find them. So in regards to the supers, yeah, that's why. That's why I never recommend focusing on supers because I was super focused on supers a while back, and I just, yeah, I can't tell you how many times I quit. Just, you know, it's just frustrating. You. You invest so much time into looking for them, so much time and effort, um, and I, I still do, even though I collect other things. But like I said, when I'm caught up on those things, I'll, I will go look for supers. Um, yeah, and then you know your buddy or you know somebody that's your competition and not good competition. You know they end up pulling four out of a store and then they go sell them for fifty bucks a piece that night. You know it's just. It's a mess, dude. It's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. I love collecting. Don't get me wrong. Finding a super is the pinnacle of collecting for me. For for me. Speaking for me. That's why I get so excited and so stoked when I find them. Because that's the pinnacle. That is the luck of the luck. <laughs> the luckiest of luck. And timing. And everything. Everything comes together. You find that. And they're so hard to find. So that's the pinnacle. But I would definitely recommend never focusing on it. Uh, Lena says supers require waking up super early or night time ventures being consistent But then most people are already experts at finding the timing of shipments. They usually have to at her. They usually have asked workers too much. Yeah Yep Chris diecast dungeon. What's up, buddy? Thanks for tuning in Uh, Ernie Garcia, how do you know if it's a C case or a K case on the back of the blister pack? So, like, here's a, a GTR. So, I already know that this car is C or D case. It's D case. It's the very last digit on the serial number on the top of the card. If you can see it. So, you can see D. So, that'll tell you if you're looking at the card, you're looking at the, you're looking at the card, that's how you tell. James Lanier, yep, that's a problem, paying for an inside job. Uh, he says, I'm not that lucky. I saw a guy kick the clerk some money at my store. Yep, that's a problem. Uh, Jorge Delgado, best chances of finding a super is getting a sealed box or hitting fresh shippers at stores. Yep, that's it. At least in my area, if you find, if you find a dump bin with cars dumped out, you're probably too late. You're probably too late. Like you got to see it getting pulled out of the box and everything. 
to know that you have a legitimate shot. There's just, there's way too many people here that are just way too on top of things. And they have a lot more free time than I do. Uh, old man diecast, what are the other digits for? That's a good question. I've never bothered to take the time to decipher that, but I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's probably kind of similar to international cars where it's telling you probably the production month, uh, the production plant, the origin, probably that's what, that's what those other digits mean. But I've never taken the time to, to decipher that. Uh, D wheels. What's up? He said local scalper pays the employees off for cases. Yep. Happens all the time. Happens all the time. And trust me guys, if you guys see, if you guys see cases getting kicked out to me, I don't pay. I don't pay people. I don't pay people. Um, you know, my way of paying them for that stuff is to peg the stuff for them or submit a survey for them. Um, I don't kick money down to those people. You know, I appreciate them, but I'm not going to pay for that, pay for that service. Uh, uh, Big A's and Mustang Hunter, who are you guys talking about? Big A said, Mustang Hunter, your buddy is the perfect definition of a pallet raider. And Mustang Hunter said, yes, Adrian, he posts supers daily here in Arizona. Yeah, Graham gives a good some good advice too. If you're I mean, if you're looking for supers, don't set your goals high. You know, if you pull out a case, just take it as you're not gonna find that super until that top is cracked and you look down and uh, you see a Spectre Flame card, then you can get excited. Uh, Edwin Perea. If Hot Wheels is, or what if Hot Wheels makes a Shmi 150 variation of the uh, McLaren Senna? That'd be sick. Static Crispy is back. Welcome back. Uh, Brandon Goldsboro, so question, can you maybe explain the mainline cars and stuff outside? Because I'm a little confused. What do you need clarification with, bud? I'll be happy to help. Uh, Ernie Garcia, what paint do you Spectre Flame? I was wondering where do you get the paint at? So the best place to find so it's met it's a uh, duplicolor metal cast. Um that's what this is. It's spray paint. It's spray paint. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video on how to do Spectre Flame without using an airbrush. Um but it's duplicolor metal cast. O'Reilly's carry some colors. They're they're limited. There's not very many colors to choose from. I mean, there's only like six. There's there's red, blue, green, yellow slash gold. Um, hold on, red, blue, green, purple, yellow slash gold, and smoke, which is going to give it like a black chrome appearance. Which I can't wait to get a can of that stuff. I have all of them, but I still need a can of the smoke and a can of the gold yellow. Um, but the only ones that I've seen at O'Reilly's is blue, red, and purple. And I had to order the green. I had to order the green online. You can find it on um, Amazon. I'll definitely post links to the to the paints when I do that when I do that write up because we still got to sand this bad boy down again with uh, three thousand grit and five thousand and ten thousand if I can if I can find it because I want to try it. Uh, we got to sand that bad boy down and then. That's going to be the video subject for that how to spectra flame. Yeah, Hobby Lobby has House of Colors and uh, metal chrome paints. Yeah, yeah, I haven't tried it. Because the, the metal cast is the actual stuff that's like clear, clear, transparent candy. Yes. No, I'm not. Okay, bye. Don't worry about it. You know, when I'm done, I'm done. Bye. Love you. Uh, let's see. Aquatic Way, would you ever want to meet up? I live in Arizona in Queen Creek and we can do a hunt. I am down, buddy. I am down. 
There's actually a shop. Uh, some guy on the Arizona Facebook page, um, I guess he's got a little shop in Queen Creek that I want to go check out. It looks like he's got some pretty good cars. and Go see how it is. Uh, D wheels, where do you guys buy bulk protecto packs? So, at D wheels me lion plastics.com. Check them out. Uh, check them out, D wheels. Uh, me lion plastics.com. Uh, best place for protectors, best price if you're, um, if you're hard up, you know, if you only use sterling protectors, they carry sterling protectors. Um, they have transport protectors, real riders, pop culture, loose protect, uh, loose protectors, everything, man. Check them out. Check them out. The best that there is. And I think there's a promo code right now. Uh, $5 sign off 30 is the promo code. Uh, so $5 off uh, every 30 protectors. You're welcome, bud. You're welcome, D, D wheels. Uh, best prices too, in my opinion. Best prices. Check them out. It's like two. It's like two forty nine or two fifty for a for a um, a transport protector pack. Definitely worth it. Uh, Desi, do you have Fast and Furious cars? I do. I do. I have. I think. I think I have every set of Fast and Furious except for the off road one. The off road one, I was just not interested in. Um, so I didn't get those. Uh, GOGT, Emmy Lion is awesome. I ordered from them all the time. Um, Erica's really nice. I am glad Melinda advertises them. Yes, and I push them too. I'm absolutely the best out there. Customer service is on point. Uh, Big A's Diecast, this is interesting. It's so funny, I was at a Target checking out Hot Wheels a, a while back ago and one of the employees came up to me and asked me if I needed a camera. So I said yes, out of curiosity, and he gave it to me. I'm assuming the case, wow. Insane. Uh, Hewitt's, have a good night, buddy. He says, later y'all, I gotta crash. <laughs> Uh, Tin Lizard, riddle me this: Why are eighty-seven cent Matchbox so much more, so much better detailed, and in many cases better painted, and even the exclusive Hot Wheels? It's a good question. Uh, Kevin Kennedy, the Fast and Furious Lamborghini wheels so deep. Um, you talking about the black? Are you talking about the black Aventador? Uh, Jordan Miller, I have not. He's, he asked me, have you been able to find the, the Falcon Ford Mustang ID? I have not. Yeah, I definitely want that one. That one is sick. Uh, Desi, do you collect micro machines? I do not. I was into them when I was a kid, but I, I don't collect them now. Yeah, Kevin Kennedy says, yeah. Yeah, those wheels are really nice. Um, I... I <laughs> I've been pondering this and I think I'm going to do it. I'm going to do a video on how to fix the Lamborghini Aventadors. Um, so if you don't know, if you look at the Lamborghini Aventador, the rear wheels, when you push them all the way in, they are so sunken in, like the body is like this and it just, it looks absolutely terrible. Um, so I think one of these days I'm going to do a video on how to fix the Hot Wheels Lamborghini Aventador. I'll show you how. It's easy. Uh, Irish Mike, do you know when RLC membership will come up again? It currently says they're sold out on the page. Yeah, because they haven't, um, they have not done the RLC membership event yet. Um, usually it happens, um, if I remember from past memory, it usually happens end of February, early March. So stay tuned. And it's usually a two, a two part thing. Usually they'll do like 12 or 15,000 memberships. And then like a week later, they'll open it up again for like another 10 or 15,000. Uh, Brandon Goldsboro, I was seeing if the mainline cars are all the cars that come in the lettered cases. Yes, if it's a mainline, it comes in a lettered case, but 
Um, you're not going to be able to identify international cards the same way that you do U.S. cards. The, the serial number is, is different. Uh, David Chuck, yep, that's it. <laughs> but I'm going to I'm going to take it a little bit further than just spacers. I'm going to do spacers, but I'm going to make a new um, a new axle as well, so it pushes them out a little farther. Because um, even if the wheels are all the way spread apart, they're like to me the way that it looks. It looks like they'll be sunk in just a little bit still. Uh, Fifty five gas or hey, do you think they'll release another five ten wagon super in the future? I think so. I'm thinking next year or the year after. I think. I think because they finally brought back another Datsun um, coming up in H case. So. Uh, Desi, thanks for tuning in, buddy. Says uh, he says later. Got to go to sleep. Uh, yeah, big ace. He said probably mid March for RLC membership. Yeah, I think last year it happened into March, early, early, or early March, late February. I think. Uh, tin <laughs> tin lizard dot three or lacquer thinner works fine for stripping paint. Yeah. I use the Rust-Oleum uh, aircraft stripper. That's a, it's thick as snot, but it works really great. I just dip it in there and let it sit for about 20 or 30 minutes, and that thing is that thing's good to go. Lone Star Diecast, what's up? Thanks for tuning in, buddy. Appreciate you. Uh, Will Frederick, real riders are more expensive than just buying premiums, from what I can see. Am I missing where to get them? Um... Are you talking about the real, real, real rider wheels? Osvaldo Trujillo, howdy brother, what's up? How's it going? Uh, Mustang Hunter, take care buddy, he's checking out. Thanks for tuning in as always, I appreciate you man. Much love. Uh, David Shook, period correct drop. Hmm, haven't seen that. Coffee cup, yeah, starter fluid. <laughs> I saw that and I was like, I gotta have it. All right, guys, the live stream just ended on uh, the phone. You're gonna notice the audio is the backlog now, so that's our cue. So we're gonna wrap up this live stream. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you on Saturday for the next one. And again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. 3,000 subscribers, man, absolutely insane. I appreciate you guys so much. So uh, stay tuned and we'll see you on the next live stream. Stay tuned for the next episode as well where we paint this bad boy, okay? Thank you, guys. Love you. Peace out, bros and sisters and mothers, fathers, brothers, sisters, uncles, cousins. <laughs>